The storm system now a hurricane. That's as the latest advisory is just out. It is still spinning and gaining strength in the Atlantic. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Naja Sherman. And I'm Jim Berry. Next weather Chief Meteorologist and Hurricane Specialist Ivan Carrera is joining us now. Ivan, it looks pretty scary, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, this is one of those storms uh, that would be here, but you know, with our uh, computer modeling and uh, you know, we're feeling pretty good about the models locking in on that turn here away from not just Florida, but the eastern uh, U.S. But uh, it's still going to be some indirect impacts here, but I don't want you to think this is, you know, headed uh, in our direction past this weekend, although the cone does make it look like that, uh, but we'll get into that here. There is the hurricane continuing uh, to gather strength. I think by tomorrow we're looking at a cat two already. Forecast, in fact, has it at 100 miles an hour by tomorrow afternoon. 125, so a cat three. We're jumping categories here. It's going to be a quick, uh, rapid intensifier, uh, no question. But notice the cone. It's not moving, you know, west, northwest. At this point, it's climbing, and we like that climb as it continues to move, not just away from the islands, but that would set it up for a big turn over the Atlantic by the time we get into next week. But look at this. This is Monday p.m., so we have plenty of time to watch it. I just don't think the models are going to have a huge change of heart here as we've been talking about the last few days. We'll let you know if we see any different trends here, but this is the forecast. Now, beyond the cone, it gets tricky. Obviously, we're getting way out ahead, but this has been a pretty consistent run from the GFS, the American GFS, and the European. Another way to visualize it is the wind field. This is not just going to be an intense hurricane, but a huge hurricane. Watch this wind here by the time we get into a Friday, Saturday, and then early next Next week, and this is the problem here. Now we're going to clip Puerto Rico and parts of the northern Leeward Islands with some significant wind and also with some huge waves that are going to be coming in, particularly across the north facing shores here. Then eventually, as we head into next week, there's that nice turn to the north. You see a lot of waves here. We're going to be talking about the just huge swells coming out from uh, this hurricane towards the eastern U.S., and that's going to set us up uh, for you know some uh, dangerous conditions on the you know ocean not here at the surface here. We're looking pretty good. And again, this is uh, going to go north of us. 90